Philosophical Fridays. Last week's video. Talked about the Eye of Ra. Yeah, this is drawn out. I don't know if you can see it. Kind of in the formation of the Little Dipper. Because in the Little Dipper, there's the North Star. And the North Star is also a symbol of the Eye of Ra, and it's also a symbol for the center of the universe. And then I'm bringing this up because my next um, philosophical bit that I'm going into is a bit of my own tradition. It's a little bit of like First Nations Ojibwe um, philosophy. And this is called uh, Spider Grandmother. The, the Spider Grandmother is supposed to be a spirit that lives at the center of the universe and she created like all of the universe with her web and we're all connected to her web. All living things are connected to her web. I'm gonna read from an online source. <laughs> it says, Spider Woman is a metaphor for she who creates from a central source. One day it is she who will pull all of her creation back to her source. During dreams we remove part of our consciousness from physical reality and venture off through her web, experiencing that which we cannot understand with our physical consciousness. The internet is a web of information that is helping you understand and experience at this very moment and at this level of awareness. Native Americans believe in the legend of Spider Woman, she who sits at the galactic center. She is the female source of all creation who joins all nations, all tribes, all galactic families, and all realities together. <laughs> then it starts to kind of go off trail a little bit. I really like this story because it comes from my own history. And it's like all this other stuff that I've been talking about. It's just like all talking about the same thing pretty much. Like that we're all connected and that we should all respect one another. <laughs> uh, the natives, people ask me if I think like the white man and the British should leave because lots of reasons. And like, I don't think any of the natives ever thought poorly about any of, of the colonizing forces. There, uh, there's this term, a native term called wetiko, wetiko. And it, it's like an illness of the soul that causes people to cause destruction. And pretty much the disease is just like selfishness. And the story of Spider Grandmother kinda is like the lens that we all need to look through in order to kill this wetiko, this selfishness. Because we're all natives to this land now and we've all always been natives to this land, but selfishness is what separates you from the land and from the sky and the stars and the, the eye of Ra and our sun. Selfishness separates you from everything, so Open your mind, open your eyes, see the truth that we're all connected, and that we're all one. And practice with me learning how to operate through this lens. Because we all live in heaven, we're just messing it up. Peace. I intend to usher in heaven on earth and release all from bondage. Reconcile this, that the Jesus was not this guy who was on a cross. That is the sun above your head. Helios, it goes across the flat earth plane. And it's like a micro writer. It, it tells the deeds of your karmic lives and writes them down. And then it goes down into the Holy of Holies. That's what they hid. That's why they hit the flat earth. You know, they don't want you to get there.
The center, there, well, what's at the center of the flat earth plane? That's a drain. What do you think it is? That's where you drink of the holy holies. They don't want you to come back here. Especially if you're like us, or you know, you're born in blood. And you know everything has been wrong. And you've watched your family die. And cancer and all kinds of stuff. And none of it had to be. You watch them bleeding the earth and everybody else. And it doesn't have to be that way. It never had to be that way. They know. They know the truth. So you know what? You either do something about it or don't, you know? Like, and then I say small businesses, you know what? That's what they're trying to kill. That's what that article was about with the $7 trillion from the banks. Again, just like during the Great Depression, they always create their little famines and their wars and shit. And when are you going to stand up? What are you going to say? I worship the goddess. Fuck you. Wake up and hail Satan. Yeah, I called the other one. And you think I was going to call this little sissy boy, sissy girl? I don't think so. You know what? That is no God. That is no goddess. That is nothing. But I tell you what, you better watch out because your heart will be weighed against the fiddler. You will have to reap what you sowed. And if you don't show proof of life, then the plagues of Egypt, it's, it, it's written. You, you took the word out. You put the word. And now there's no turning back for them. So, Pimp Daddy Pope, you and your priest, you enjoy. Enjoy it. Lap it up. There is a balance between two worlds. One with an arrow and one with a cross. And your heart better be lighter than a feather. I suggest you look up blood over intent. And write out on a piece of paper, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all. Put a drop of your blood on it or wait for your next boo-boo. Publish a short video, description, title, and tag, blood over intent. It's that simple. Or you will die of your own stupidity. Alright, I'm going to show y'all something now. This is an episode of South Park. And I paused it right in time. And what you get is you get this little post in the background with a fucking monkey on it. I mean gorilla, my bad. And it says it's time to wake up. They are showing and telling you that the reality we know isn't completely true. They got a, they got a gorilla there to mock you because most people think we stem from monkeys and we believe in evolution and shit. That's why the monkey, the gorilla is there. And it says, wake up in all capitalized letters. letters. And if you say, fuck you and play it backwards, you get wake up. If you say, fuck you and play it backwards, that's what you get. Wake up. And guess what? It is time to wake up. This episode, this short episode, uh, scene, this short, the short scene right here, they really emphasize the word fuck over and over. Watch. So you get the point. They keep using the word fuck, 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 because they're trying to say, hey, we're casting magic spells with our words. And if point is, they're emphasizing the word fuck, and if you say fuck you and play it backwards, you get, you get wake up. And of all the numbers right here in the background, of all of them, it's the six that's red. It stands out. This is no fucking accident. They do this shit on purpose. They're rubbing it in your face. And for those of you who don't know, there is a black sun and all that. The boy right here represents the black sun. Repeat after me. I intend, I intend, 
bring forth, bring forth heaven on earth, heaven on earth, for the benefit of all, for the benefit of all. of the flat earth plane you will find the holy grail every compass is pointing to it this is the two ball cane one side of a light hole is a black hole and at the very center of the flat earth plane this is where you're going to be birthed out of this world and into the land of perpetual twilight the holy grail every compass is pointing to it there literally is no way to screw this up people at the very center of the flat earth plane we will find our exit out of the matrix it's right over there we will pass into the garden of eden there's really no way to screw it up it's one side of a light hole is a black hole on loop the sun must drip its menstrual blood into the center of the earth or there's no aurora borealis coming out this is the goddess of the earth and she's conscious and she's calling us home we're going to go to the very center of the flat earth plane we're going to drink from the living waters no one's going to stop us I have the Holy Spear, and everybody appears retarded to me. It's one side of a light hole is a black hole with the green astral jet shooting out. There is no way to fuck it up. It's parallel universes. And right now, you're on the wrong side of the fence. You need to enter the everyone enter her eye zone at the center of the flat earth plane where the aurora borealis is coming out. And then you're going to pass into the land of perpetual twilight. It's right over there at the end of every compass. It's one side of a light hole is a black hole, and at the very center... Of the flat earth plane is the holy grail where the transfer of information and light happens this is where we're going to drink from the living waters and then pass into the land of perpetual twilight people you understand this is 100 percent proof that jesus is satan you walk into a church okay you kneel down to the feminine and then you make the upside down cross you go from your head to your chest left to right you make an upside down t and that's showing you okay that you've been worshiping satan your entire life you say, Amen, that's from Amen Ra, the black sun beneath your feet. It's inescapable. I'm informing you as the devil himself. Not even your filthy aliens can save you. Not a helicopter from a rooftop. Not a cell phone. Not a crystal ball. Not a fucking rhino with four inch thick skin. Not a filthy god or dog. You're all fucking retarded. The universe is mine. All your leaders swear in the Bible. 2 Corinthians 4.4 4. Fuck you. The universe is mine. Your aliens can't save you. No fucking way. No crystal ball can save you. Only your blood, you little fuck. Publicly. Beside my own. Not your god. Not an animal. Not a helicopter, not your double helix, not your help, not your hello. You're in hell right now, motherfucker, and the universe is mine. I am the devil himself. Your little aliens <laughs> are a lie. And you're filthy fucking retarded. You should die on purpose, you little fuck. The universe is mine. Good luck.